Hi. In this video I will show you how to solve battleships puzzles. An easy starting point is to go through the already revealed parts of ships. In our case we have the bottom part of a ship revealed. We know that we cannot have other ships in the diagonal cells, and our ship cannot turn into a diagonal cell as well. We can safely mark those cells as water. Since this is the bottom part of a ship, we will have at least one black cell upwards. The rest of the neighbor cells we can mark as water. Next we can look for completed numbers outside the grid. The zeros show that there are no ships on that row or column. We can mark the entire row or column as water. We already have two black cells on this column, so the rest should be water. We should have two black cells on this column. And there are exactly two empty cells. They should be black. A good strategy is to try and fit the largest ship somewhere on the grid. In our case it is three cells long. If we try and place it horizontally on the first row, the total number of black cells on the row will be 4, and it must be 3. Similarly, placing it horizontally on any other row we would exceed the restrictions. The only place it could fit is on the column with 4 at the top. We can position it either like this, or like this. In both cases the middle two cells are always black. We can mark the cells alongside the ship as water. And the diagonal cells as well. These rows are already completed. And these two columns have just enough empty cells to be completed. We have found the three cells long ship already, and we need to find one more, which is two cells long. It is obviously this one, so we can surround it with water. We just have to find the last submarine, and based on the clues on the side it must be here. The puzzle is solved. These were the basic techniques for solving battleships puzzles. You can now go and try your new skills.